Hello everyone, this is Wesker Tribe here, and today I'm playing Bloodborne. Yeah, back from where we left off, I had to cut it quick then, because obviously my 15 minutes was coming close. But, yeah, let's do this area quickly. Now, you got two choices, you could kill these crazy witches, which... I'd say it's a good idea. Yeah, if you notice one of them is trying to hit you while you're doing a charge attack, just let it go a bit early. But most of all these people here, there's not really anything to collect really than a little bit of XP. They can maybe jack off you. Run here behind this tree, get some cover. Watch out for those crazy ones, those crazy dogs. Keep running. Jump. Oh, I'll tell you, you come across enemies that throw two um, molotards. That's nothing compared to the enemies that throw two molotards. Literally. They are a pain in the bum. We might go away. You know, I'll just deal with that quickly. Yeah, I'd say if you're new to this, definitely focus on how. I'm glad I opened that shortcut, and she's dead. Next time I come back, as you've just seen, she pushed me off the edge. That can happen really easy. Just gonna have a quick drink. Should be about a few seconds till I get back there, and she's dead. Push me straight off the edge. The only reason I was trying to be a bit faster there is because the, obviously the witches behind me were trying to get me. Weren't because I was trying to speed run it. Now, quickly, go back here. Fuck these ones because they can't really do much. It's just ones like her. She's a bitch. And that lift we brought down earlier, there should be a man back to knowledge on the right. Hopefully one of those girls and commit suicide down the hole. Oh look, there's my blood echoes, even though I didn't die there. Now, I want to be careful with this bitch. She pushes me again, I'm gonna, ooh. Come on, it's weak. Bitch. Now that's her dead from pushing me off the edge. Grab what she's got. Bone ashes, you definitely want to equip them, which I've got. Now this guy, how I like to do this area, I know it's a bit cheesy, but run through here. Just keep running, just keep running. The dog should jump down, keep running. That, I did want to double roll, so game did that, and I didn't want to do that. Grab onto the ladder, quickly climb up. The dogs can't climb, so don't worry about that. And then quickly grab this over here. Oh, little guy. No! As I was going to say, that the little guy you just saw disappear would have had a twin, twin stone, which would have allowed me to level up my weapon. Get that guy in the corner. Uh, that's annoying. Now what that does does, you saw me pick up, which I think I've picked up a couple of these, oh I need to, is this will basically give me a boost to thrust if I have a thrust weapon, but I don't at the moment. Yeah, I should have been a bit more careful jumping down there, that was a bit silly of me, but I should be fine. Now. There is a bit of an annoying boss in this area, but not that annoying. Get that girl's attention. Then I'd say just forward, forward, thrust. Even though she just hit me, but that doesn't matter. Got my health back, she took. Now, this part, I like to play a bit fast. Because there's a lot of annoying enemies. Most of them you can just skip. Burn yourself in that fire. <laughs> oh, yeah. Maybe it 
stop running. Yeah. Right. Oh. Just give me a sec. Some of them my family's talking and don't know if you can hear <clears throat> Don't want that to be a distraction. This guy I find quite annoying, but it blocks. I love it when he blocks, but as you see, he blocked for a quarter of a minute there. I killed the other witch, but missed the other witch. And that unlucky. That's all my half back for me to. Grab what he's got. Quickly run down here. Get that box, even though I know that witch is throwing stuff at me. Now her, you could come I ain't finished with you, woman. Heal up. Now, yeah, you definitely want to take this part slow, because you did see an item down there on the left. There's two things you could do here. You could say bugger them and wait till they go away, but this one looks like he's already aggroed on me. So the best thing to do is either... Wait for the window. That should have like, physically staggered him. Oh, wow. There we go, got him man. Got him good. Yeah, as you can see those guys are not incredibly hard. Now these dogs in the other hand. I hate the dogs in this game. Especially these ones. See what I mean? They're like literally just sit in the grass and then boom! Pop the legs out. Okay, that's them dealt with I think. Hopefully all of them. No, a couple more and a woman. I'd say what you want to do here then is put bow marrow ash into that. Shoot the dog. See how much damage that does. Shoot the dog. No messing around. Shoot her. Then let's get over a taste of our own medicine. It's going to be good. Then. Oh yeah. She didn't like it, does she? Make sure nothing is following you when you go and collect this item. Because I find things on a cliff to be the worst items in the game to collect. There we go. Collected that. That will help us level up. Grab as much supplies as you possibly can. Because the boss coming up ahead He's a bit of a mixture, he's hard and he's not hard, but you definitely want to make sure you've got a lot, a lot of health anyway. You want to make sure because enemies have grabs in this and if an enemy grabs you, there's no way of escaping it, I think, and there's no way of reducing the damage. Yeah, if you're wondering what Madman's knowledge done, which I think I said that before, it, that little eye in the corner that shows up, it increases that more. See that red thing there? Put in my gun again. Yeah, don't worry too much about that big guy following you because you're going to have quite a few of them and they're quite slow if you just move fast. They can't really get you. <laughs> I think thrust weapons work against them better because they're like magic or something. You can parry these guys as well, the ones you keep seeing me shooting them. Yeah. 
Make sure you always keep your health topped up. Perry? You want to try and kill the, um, the first one of this fast. So that's the first one. So now the second one should appear. Wherever he's holding. There he is. Shoot him. Perry? Quickly stuck in the back. Then just heal again. Yeah, they try and play a bit aggressive so you don't get the others. But just ignore them. Try and focus on that little bugger you see. If you see what he just tried to do there, I think he's trying to freeze me in place so he can hit me. You might be careful that because those madmen will try and get you as fast as possible. Ah, as you can just see the other one's woken up two again, which I find that quite annoying. Do that a couple of times. You definitely will take one of these. Damn it! Now this is why you want more health, because you can't really get out of this. He'd be, he actually been fair to me there. I'm going to grab that. We're just trying it again. Okay. Yeah, that's the only annoying thing about these guys. Hit the other guy, I don't know why I didn't. Going back some health. That other wizard witch is hiding. You want to find them fast before he wakes it one up. Where's he hiding? He's over there. And that's that boss done. As you can see, it's not very hard, it's not very easy, but if they freeze you in place and one of them grabs you, Oh yeah, they eat your health. Oh yeah. I think if you've literally not upgraded your health, you can kiss your butt goodbye. Literally, they're going to kill you with it. And if they don't kill you with it, no, those ones around them, they will cut you up and then that will finish you. But this plays a big part in the story. This item I've just collected. This plays a very, very big part in the story. This that item. I think you will get a trophy for collecting both of them. Uh, but this will allow me to do something back at the um, Hunter's Dream. That's what it's originally called. I was calling it something else. But it's called Hunter's Dream. Oh, hot hand. And I will say... You want to focus on your ma uh, your most favourite weapon, and um, maybe focus on health and strength if you're new to this game. As you can see, we can put relics on now, so hold more bullets, physical resistance, temporary boost, transformation. Which I don't say bother do that. The best ones I'd say put on now is those three, and those are s like special uh, memories. Which you can only get off certain NPCs. You really want to focus on your, your main weapon really. And your main gun. But um. I'm going to stop it here. And we'll continue next time. Uh, thank you for watching everyone. And have a great day.